right, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Learn, and I am with two of the three Kiska brothers from Greta Van Fleet, uh, finally in St. Louis. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but you guys were supposed to be here two other times. Yes. yes. Sickness. Sickness, and then I think rain, because the, you were touring with Wizard. the Struts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And no, you got that, rained out. No, yeah, that was um, outside. Yeah, yeah, it was outside. Yeah. So what's hilarious is um, we have been waiting for you guys to get here for yeah. like a year. And um, KC Radio is the oldest rock station in the nation. Uh, we're 51 years old. And we, last year, um, right as your, I want to say your double EP was coming out, we had our listeners beating down our studio doors to play mm-hmm. you guys. Wow. And you guys have had this fast track of success. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about how the last year has been. Well, that's all ironic because we've been waiting an entire year to play here. So Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad everything matches up. Yeah. So how has this last year been? Ooh, meteoric. I don't know. I don't know. Last year. Uh, it's been so fast paced that it's, uh, it's it, we haven't really had time to process it. I bet. Yet. But uh, hopefully, uh, you know, sometime soon we get a little bit of time to think about it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, maybe jot some notes down yeah. about our achievements. You know, and uh, electrical notes. I think I think that it's very difficult to kind of determine how much is going on around you when you're inside of it, and it's kind of I like to describe kind of describe it as being in the eye of a storm. Yeah. Because there's so much going on, but right in the center is very calm. It's like you can't really see it. You don't really witness too much of the exterior chaos. You know, That's kind of good though at the same time, right? It is, yeah. it is. So you don't get caught up with the whole thing. I mean, right. for us, it's life. For the past year and a half, you know, get on the tour bus at two or three in the morning and yeah. go to the next place. Right. If you could climb up the stairs and get on it. Yeah, maybe have an off day, <laughs> have a grill out. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty much just it's life for us. You know, there's so many iconic uh, rock bands that have brothers. And uh, it can go really well. Name one. Name one. Uh, Rich Robinson, Chris Robinson comes to mind. Because to me, you guys have a little bit, bit of a Black Crows bluesy feel to me. Um, and I, I hope, like, I really, like, send this goodness out to your band that you guys never have turmoil in your brotherhood. Right? Because there's yeah. so many bands yeah. that do that. <laughs> how, how is it, like, I, I can't even imagine how your mom and dad feel that, I mean, are, is, is it just three of you in the family? We have a sister. So you have a sister, okay. So, you, but the three boys are out just touring the world and doing this for the first time ever. And I mean, that's a huge chunk of their hearts just going out there and doing this, but you guys are killing it. I mean, how do you keep it together with your family that's back at home and then keep it together with the family? And obviously Danny is part of your family too Absolutely. now, I bet. You know, how is it um, touring among brotherhood like that? Well, there are some, you know, I guess there are two very painted sides to that. I mean, there's a lot of beneficial, you know, beneficial, you know, beneficial things, and then there's a lot of things that may not necessarily be. We so know how to set each other off. Oh yeah. Yeah. So and, it's uh, easy to do. <laughs> very easy. It's very easy to get pissed off at your siblings. Sure. But, um, I think that we couldn't be doing what we're doing without, you know, the setup that we have. You know, it's a support system, and it's a. Uh, it's a very interesting system that works on stage as well, in a, in a way where we communicate each, with each other after playing for so long and just growing up together and just knowing each other so well. Like, we, it's fairly predictable, us, you know, with each other. Yeah, you know, I think that there's some sort of, you know, being that we've spent our pretty the, our entire lives together, there's um, kind of, we, we've shared all the same experiences and we've shared the same life pretty much I mean in a lot of similar ways so it's like it's very it's not that hard to know what someone's thinking or what someone you know if we're on stage moving around it's pretty much reading body language at that at that point you can kind of communicate through that it's a very early form of communication um, but you know it's like on the other hand it is easy to push those buttons and I mean when it, you know when it comes to it and we used to be a lot worse you know, when we were younger, it was broken like, windows. Yeah, no. broken drum kits. Doors. Typical brothers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like we that. throw each other's equipment in the yard. Uh, some like some some kinks, kinks, some kinks stuff. Yeah. yeah, I like that. All right. But I think that I think ultimately that we've kind of evolved to the point where we're the only thing that we have is each other out here. So we've kind of get you know grown and we're another form of respect for each other and so space is necessary absolutely Uh, your album which everybody is waiting for is coming out sometime this year exactly 
late summer, or what do you think? Like more fall, winter? When is the, when are we gonna get that? Probably be out before the end of the year. Okay. Very diplomatic. Yeah, you like that? That's I good. like that. Yeah, no, I really <laughs> like it. And I read that it is going to be one complete thought. Yes. Hopefully. Yeah. And, and I, I think that's kind of the, that's kind of the way that we got the opportunity to design it, you know, instead of like the EPs, mm -hmm. because those were very much like, okay, we need to get some more material out there, and it was just kind of like putting pieces together right. at a similar time. So it works, but I think that uh, telling a story is is very much the great thing about albums that not a lot of people do. And anymore. I think now it's it's sort of representative of where we are musically. Mm -hmm. You know, you artistically, and where you know where we've come the last year and a half, and um, a lot of the material. I want to say about fifty percent of the album was actually written during the recording process of the album, which was in you know the confines of a month maybe here and there. And so we would track something at the end of the night, and come back the next day, and we'd have a song basically. You know, the roots of the song there to to, to finish. Uh. Speaking of roots of a song, I don't know if it's because I'm a woman and I. My ears perk when I hear this. You guys, you write about women. You have a muse in your in your language that you use with vocals, at, at least yeah. that I I take to when I listen to it. I'm like, I want to know, you know, is there a certain woman that you guys have written about, or it's, what is that? It's interesting because that's that's another thing that I think Josh, uh, in many ways, writes about, you know, a female character, but that sort of you know, subject to interpretation by the listener right. based on who that is or who he's describing. Because there's different things, and I'll, and I'll hear him say every once in a while, like, I think this one's about her, or this one's about, you know, this one's about her mom or something. But I'm, and, not, you know, yeah, I'm not even sure that he knows. You know, I like some, that. Some of them, some of them, some, some, some of them he does, but yeah. I think some of them are just, you know, the essence of something. And an essence of a woman is like another form of nature, another form of, you know, uh, you know, a symbolism of love and that sort of thing. I think that's I that. how he kind of writes with purity. Yeah, purity. I love purity. that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I wish you so much luck on your tour, and we are so grateful that um, you're here. I know Danny has a, a broken finger issue, and uh, yeah, his hands. Uh, it's seen better days, yeah. but we're gonna get through uh, these uh, few shows. Yeah. We're, we're, so happy we're willing to do it for, for St. Louis. Thank you very know. much. Actually, we have something special for St. Louis playing tonight. Yeah. Do you? We do. Okay, well, we will look forward to that. All right. It's going to be fun. Thank you very much. All right, Greta Van Fleet in St. Louis for the first time performing tonight at the pageant August 1. We're stoked.